The world of sports never seems to rest in the state of Arizona. I am Devin Henry, glad to have you along for the ride on Sports 360 AZ. We are all Arizona, all the time. Even when sports aren't really in season, there's still plenty going on across the valley. We are brought to you by Desert Financial Credit Union, taking care of you, taking care of your business. That is Desert Financial Credit Union. We appreciate Desert Financial Credit Union and their support across the year. We're taking a bit of a dive into the world of entertainment in sports. We will be joined by WWE Hall of Famers and Arizona's own Bella Twins. Nikki and Bree will come by and chat with us. The Chaparral High School alums return to Arizona later this summer for the WWE. Our own Claudia Faust sits down with them, taking a trip down memory lane and also what they have going on outside the ring. And Jordan Spurgeon, he's taken a trip across the valley in search for restaurants who joined in and helped rally the valley during the Suns playoff run. And Jordan Ham sits down with Sam Thomas, the 2021 Pac-12 Scholar Athlete of the Year for the University of Arizona women's basketball team as she looks big picture into the future of U Arizona basketball. Sports betting set to legalize in the state of Arizona on September 9th, just in time for the NBA and NFL seasons, as well as the WNBA playoffs. The Phoenix Mercury inking a monumental partnership with Bollies Corporation, the first of its kind across all the professional women's sports organizations. This isn't just going to impact gambling in the state of Arizona, but it will have a ripple effect across the entire state. So to dig in a little bit more on what this partnership means for the state of Arizona, it is our pleasure to welcome in the Chief Operating Officer of the Phoenix Mercury, Vince Kozar, who has been a pretty busy man as of late in the midst of a season. There's a championship run going on at Phoenix Suns Arena as well, on top of all of this happening. We appreciate your time, Vince. Thank you for joining the show. And first and foremost, what does sports betting legalizing in the state of Arizona do for the Valley in your eyes? Yeah, well, first of all, thanks so much for having me. Like you said, it's a great time to be uh, affiliated with basketball in any capacity in the state of Arizona, whether you work in it, play it, or, uh, or a fan of it. So uh, thanks for having me. Um, to your question, I think it starts with just the vision that the state has had, that the legislators and the governor had to bring sports betting to Arizona, the impact that it can have on our economy, on our teams, and on the way fans engage with our teams. Um, is really, really exciting. And so I think what we know is that um, as these teams build relationships um, with these companies outside of our state and those companies bring in um, retail books and mobile sports betting books to our state, um, fans in the state and all Arizonans are going to have a great opportunity to engage with these properties. And I know that some people just aren't into sports betting, and that's fine, but this is going to change not just sports betting in Arizona. This deal that the Mercury have put together, it's going to impact the fans, the players. It's going to impact the city of Phoenix entirely. So can you take me through what exactly this partnership changes outside the world of gambling? I think what's really exciting for us as a team and for, for this market is this, this is a game changer um, economically for our org the Mercury organization. Um, we, we have a sustainable business model. We've been here for 25 years. This is season 25 or one of the original teams. So by no means is this something that's saving us, but this is doing is helping us to grow. And when we say grow, it means our ability to invest back into our business. It means the experience of the fans. And long-term, it really does mean the experience of the players. We are the first to do this. This is the first sports betting deal of its kind with a, with a women's professional team in any market, in any league. We're the first to do this, but we don't want to be the only one to do this. And as we continue to grow the revenues of our league, which we continue to see over the course of the last uh, 10, but especially five years, as we continue to grow those revenues, eventually we start changing the economics for the players as well. And this is just part of a monumental season for the WNBA as a whole right now. And like you mentioned, you don't want to be the only team to have these kinds of partnership and have this kind of growth. And I'm pretty sure that others see what's happening and they want to follow along and try to do it themselves. But Vince, how do you see the WNBA trending and growing? You know, we've seen it. We've seen it across platforms, no matter how you measure it, the growth is there. And that's easy for me to say. It, it's easy for people to dismiss. Let, this, this guy just shills for his team and his league, but the numbers back it up. We see it in TV ratings. We saw it all through the bubble last year. We're seeing it this year. 
You can also see it across social media, across in, the engagement that our athletes have, the engagement that our teams have. The, the stat that I like to quote that I saw during the women's tournament this year was that of the top 10 players in the Sweet 16 this year in the men's or women's tournament, the eight with the biggest followings were women. So we, we see the growth across these areas and we see it in merchandise. Everyone had an orange hoodie last year and that, that's the best selling um, single item on Fanatics um, on their website um, in, in their history. And that next frontier um, is this partnership space. And we have great partners, um, as you know, um, we wear fries on our jersey, we wear PayPal on our jersey. Um, Verizon uh, is on our practice jersey and our practice facility. And now we have Bally's in that top tier that we're calling our change makers that are really making a difference for our business. And as you mentioned, it's just a great time to be a fan of basketball in the state of Arizona because obviously there's a little bit of championship fever going on around the area where you are. And I'm just really curious, when your roommates are having the success that they're having, does that kind of rub off on what's going on with the Mercury too? You know, it is, it is the, the best relationship I could ask for across um, our organization. We have folks who work on both properties. Um, obviously, we, we share an arena. We share a practice facility. James Jones and, and is incredibly supportive. Chris Paul has come to games this year. He bought tickets for his parents to come to Friday's game. So the, the support has been incredible. But like you said, there is um, – um, we're, we're incredibly supportive of the Suns. The, the Rally the Valley t-shirt is always nearby. Um, our players are incredibly supportive. Um, Devin is one of Diana's biggest fans and vice versa is true as well. I think if, if anything, maybe there's a little jealousy, right? We've been to the top of that mountain and we want to get back to the top of that mountain. So, so healthy, healthy jealousy, I would say. We're excited for the Suns and then hopefully we'll make a, a long playoff run of our own uh, later this summer. Well, it's phenomenal to see what you guys are doing, not just at the WNBA, but at the Mercury. Three Olympians later this summer, once you guys head on over to Japan for the Olympic break. Vince, thank you so much for joining on the show and taking us a little bit deeper into what's going on with the Mercury, the WNBA, because there's a lot trending upwards, and it's great to see what you guys are doing over there, Vince. Appreciate the time. Thanks so much. A pleasure having Vince on the show. We're digging in a little bit deeper into college hoops as well. Coming up on the other side, Jordan Ham sits down with the University of Arizona's Sam Thomas, looking big picture into the future of U Arizona basketball. Jordan Spurgeon going across the valley to look at some nice treats that popped up during the Suns Rally the Valley campaign. You can check out all of our content on sports360az.com. All Arizona, all the time. U Arizona women's basketball went on a monumental run in this year's March Madness for the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. Major upset in the Final Four to move on to the championship and came up just one point shy against Stanford to bring home a national championship. To go a little bit deeper on the big picture, what's going on at U Arizona Women's Basketball? Jordan Ham caught up with the 2021 Pac-12 Scholar Athlete of the Year, Sam Thomas. We've got double trouble from Chaparral High School on the other side. The 2001 Girls Soccer Champions Nikki and Bree Bella chat with Claudia Faust before coming back to Arizona with the WWE. From high school soccer champions in Scottsdale to Hall of Famers at the national level, Nikki and Bree Bella have seen a lot throughout their careers. Claudia Faust catches up with them ahead of coming back to Arizona for WWE later this summer. Thank you, Claudia. Such a privilege to have so many champions and Hall of Famers so proud of where they came from here in the Valley. A huge thank you to all of those who were able to come and join us here on Sports 360 AZ, and it was a pleasure to have you along for the ride today. I am Devin Henry, and until next time, make it a great week.